You have said we're not supposed to work for results. What are we supposed to work for? It's a good question because anytime anybody says anything, we can't just take it at face value. We have to understand it. It has to fit into some kind of system if we have some kind of system. Well, I mean, we all do. We all have some system of life. Whether we're aware of what the system is or not, we have a system. We have a way of holding life, looking at life, handling life, doing the things that we do in life, have, and, and how we take the things that come to us in life. Everybody has a system. Now, mostly, the system is a mechanical system. It's a system that we've acquired through our education and through our contact with other sleeping people so that it is 99% well, purely, it's purely mechanical. For all intents and purposes, it's, it's a purely mechanical system. It's a system of action, reaction. There's some action in life, there's a reaction on our part. And so what happens when we come into this work is the very first thing that happens is we take this work and we start to put it into our system. We don't change our system. We start to change the work according to our system. So one of the first things we come up with is, well, if we're not supposed to work for results, then why should we work? Which is a good question in our system. In our system, we do everything for results. In our system, uh, we do everything res for results. And the result is always the same thing. The result is always what I want. And the result is always to get what I want. In this system, the work system, getting what you want has to change. In other words, what you want has to change. What you want now comes from what life told you to want. What your acquired personality, that built up part of you, tells you to want. What that tells you to want is all about the self-love. But the work comes along and it says, well, now we're going to change that. And we're going to change that so the self-love doesn't take precedence. But instead, work eyes take precedence. Work ideas take precedence. So they become more important. So what you now want, as you divide now, there's this false personality, this acquired self that the world has built that wants what self-love wants. Now, there's this other self, this other part of you that is very weak and very small, but it's associated with the work. It wants to have something more than what self-love wants. It wants something outside of that. It doesn't really know what that is yet, but it wants it. So it's facing in a different direction, and that's all that it can be right now. What we're talking about is the direction that we face. We're not talking about being able to move in one direction or another direction. We're talking about being able to stay on the same spot that we're on and maybe turn our head a little bit and face in a different direction. That's what we are capable of doing at this point. Of course, there are other people who are capable of doing anything they want and they have total, complete free will and they do whatever they want and they're conscious all the time. And those people are not listening to this. Well, actually, those people are listening to this, but they're listening to it in their sleep because that's the only place that they're really 100% conscious and able to do all the time and have free will is in their sleep. So they've got to be listening to this in their sleep if that's what they think. The truth is we're just not there. It doesn't happen on this planet. It's not something that happens on this planet. This is something we work for. So what are we working for? Well, we're working for that. Well, that's a result. Yeah, in a sense, it is a result. But it's not a result in the same way that we talk about results in an acquired sense a result for self-love. So why is it that we're doing that? It's going to undo us, really, if we work for that result, this work result, this work purpose, this work idea, it's going to undo us. It will undo false personality. It will begin to make false personality passive. At that point, life becomes difficult. When false personality is, when we start, when the work starts to make false personality passive, life becomes difficult because false personality fights back and it fights back hard and viciously because it's a matter of survival for it. Self-love wants to survive. Whereas this system is an impersonal, objective system. It doesn't have any of that 
survival self-love thing going on. It becomes quite different. Have I answered this question? Sort of? Not at all. No, I haven't answered the question by the looks of your faces. So the question was, you said we're not supposed to work for results. What are we supposed to work for? We're supposed to work for work. That's it. We're just supposed to work for work, for goodness sake. Work for work. Work for the work, for goodness sake. Work to be the best that you can be. That's why you work. Well, but what about the results? Let the results take care of themselves. In other words, don't focus so much on the results. Focus on the work and let the results take care of themselves. Will there be results? Of course there'll be results. What will those results be? We'll worry about that when you get them, when you have that to deal with. Because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, and it's going to bring up another result. <laughs>